Hello dear students, welcome to uh, introduction to nanoscience and nanotechnology course lecture number 5. I am Dr. Pervez Ahmed. Uh, in this particular lecture, uh, we will have a discussions on the properties of the materials. Uh, we will discuss uh, unique characteristic of nanoparticle and along with that we will have some example on the unusual properties of the nanomaterial. So let's proceed towards today's lecture. So the first topic of today's lecture is uh, properties of a material. So first of all, we will have a formal definitions of the property. That is what is mean by uh, the property of a material. So uh, a property of a material basically describe that how it acts under certain conditions. That is, for example, you have a materials and you put it at a particular condition. I mean, you want to heat up you want to put light or you want to put it in a magnetic field. So how that responds and the under that particular conditions, we call it uh, as a property uh, of that particular material with respect to that particular environment. So this is the formal definition for the properties of a material that is uh, it describes how a material act under certain conditions. So uh, type of the properties normally include a physical property. So in physical property, uh, the example of the physical property include hardness, melting point, boiling, boiling point, etc. Uh, optical properties, optical properties mean that how uh, the object or the nanomaterials, uh, they react or they, uh, I mean their response when we shine the light uh, on that kind of materials. So a good example of the optical properties included uh, color and transparency, uh, transparency, etc. Uh, then we have the electrical property. The electrical property is uh, how a particular material applied when we apply an electric field. Uh, and the good example is that of conductivity and resistivity, etc. Uh, then we have the chemical properties that is how the material is chemically reactive uh, and an example of the chemical properties included uh, reactivity and uh, reaction rate uh, etc. So be remember uh, we normally have uh, the material and you know that the material should be uh, somehow of uh, aggregates of the atom or molecules. I mean, whenever we, we, we use the words materials or nanomaterials, so nanomaterials do not mean that we have a single atoms or uh, two or three atoms of that particular materials. Normally, the materials mean or nanomaterial means that we have aggregation of the atom. And by checking the properties, I mean, how do we check the properties of the material or how do we refer to the properties of the material? So properties are usually measured by looking at a large aggregation of atom or molecules. I mean, we, we normally whenever we wa want to check the properties of a material, so we do not check it, uh, it at the atomic scale. Uh, we normally check at the molecular scale. I mean, we, we should have a bunch of the materials. Uh, even that might be at a nano scale, but we take a bunch of the material and for that we check the electrical or optical or, or chemical or physical characteristic. So uh, that is a very important thing which you people should keep in mind whenever you're trying to check the properties of the uh, material. So unique characteristic of the nano material include large surface to volume ratio. I mean uh, larger amount of the atom at a nano scale, they are lying at the surface as compared to the volume. I mean, uh, what it mean? It means that we have less number of atom at the volume side as compared to the surface. I mean, larger atoms, they are found at the surface. This is a sample meaning. So high percentage of atoms, uh, atoms to molecules on the surface, I mean, it's, uh, it's almost meaning the same that there's just like the previous point. That is, we have higher percentage of the atom as compared to the volume uh, on the surface. So surface por forces are very important while bulk forces are not as important. So uh, normally, uh, I mean, nanomaterials are particularly known for their surface area. So uh, that's why the surface forces, they are responsible for all the interactions or for all the properties. While the bulk factor, I mean the properties that uh, normally uh, link with the material at the bulk scale, that are not important uh, whenever we are dealing with the material at the uh, nano scale. So metal nanoparticles, uh, I mean uh, you know that nanoparticle is one kind of particular materials. 
uh, it has unique uh, light scattering properties and exhibit uh, plasmon uh, re uh, resonance. So what is plasmon resonance that uh, we will discuss that in full detail uh, in the coming lecture. So this is the key characteristic of the uh, nanoparticle that they have a unique light scattering uh, properties. Uh, semiconductors nanoparticles may exhibit confined energy states and their electronic band structures. Uh, and the example of those semiconductor nanoparticles are uh, quantum dot and in some extensions we also call them as uh, artificial atom due to their uh, unique characteristic or their unique uh, properties. Uh, be remember nanomaterials uh, can have unique chemical and uh, physical properties that uh, some of them we already discussed in the previous slide and a few more we will discuss in the coming slide as well. So same size scale as many biological structures, I mean some of the nanoparticles or some of the nanomaterials, uh, their size uh, almost matches the naturally occurring biological uh, structures. For example, uh, we, we have certain type of the biological structure like viruses or maybe some certain type of the bacteria, I mean which lies or which has a, uh, which has a size lying in the range of uh, the nanoscales uh, object that we will also discuss uh, while we will referring to uh, the lecture that is nanotechnology and and the field of biomedical or biotechnology uh, in the field of uh, nanotechnology that we will discuss later on in the coming lecture. So example of unusual properties uh, basically include uh, lower phase transition temperatures. I mean normally uh, you know that the material they have different phase like uh, some of material they have hexagonal, cubic, tetragonal, uh, tetragonal uh, and uh, I mean uh, we have different phases. I mean you already you people, uh, I mean you people have studied the course of solid state physics or crystallography so you know about the phase and the transition that how phase can change from one to another form. So when we come to the nanoscale region or the nanoscale uh, uh, size, so the transition temperature, the phase transition temperature is also changed and is transferred towards a lower temperature. I mean from higher to lower when you reduce the size from bulk to nano. Along with that we have increased mechanical strength. I mean the strength, mechanical strength increases by the reduction of size from bulk to nano. And a good example of that is carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes have unusual uh, tensile strength uh, as compared to the normal uh, or the bulk uh, carbon. Along with that we have different optical properties. A good example we have already discussed on the previous lecture and more detailed discussions we will do in the coming lecture. So uh, also we have ultra, elect uh, ultra electrical conductivity. I mean the conductivity is also changed to a great extent while we reduce the size from bulk to nano. Uh, at uh, bulk scale a material might be conductor but when we reduce the size from bulk to nano so that same conductor material it will behave as a semiconductor and a nanoscale and the reason for that it will also be discussed in the coming lecture because we say that by reduction of size the band gap increases. So when the band gap increases so the material electrical properties it changes. You know that uh, the conductor they have overlapping uh, conducting in valence band while the semiconductors they have uh, I mean some gap between the valence and conduction band while in the insulators uh, when there is a large band gap which cannot be crossed uh, almost uh, if you, uh, it doesn't matter uh, uh, what, what amount of energy you supply to them. So the electrical properties, I mean it also changes at the nanoscale uh, because uh, we know that at the nanoscale the band gap, uh, it varies. Uh, I mean the material band gap is widened, that's why the material properties changes. And along with that also the magnetic properties change. I mean a material might be uh, ferromagnetic but once you reduce the size, of the material, I mean you make it, uh, you bring it to a size equal to that of the uh, electron wavelength. So uh, a paramagnetic or ferrimagnetic material, uh, it may exhibit a particular type of magnetic behavior that we call super paramagnetic uh, behavior. And super paramagnetism is only observed uh, the, when we have the material that is the length scale equal to the wavelength of the uh, electron. 
So that super paramagnetism, I mean, uh, we will have a complete discussion on that, uh, maybe at some of the uh, uh, last lecture of this course. Uh, self purification and self perfection. I mean, nanomaterials uh, have this particular characteristic that if you made something from that material, so they can have this characterization that uh, I mean, it do not allow since uh, I mean, uh, it do not have imperfections or roughness. So that's why uh, I mean, uh, these materials uh, they 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 uh, some sort they do not allow the foreign impurity or the the dust or some other things uh, to reside there uh, because of the uh, perfection that uh, these material have. So uh, that's why as a result of that uh, it remains uh, self purified or self uh, uh, it contains self uh, perfection characteristic. So that's all we have for that lecture. Hope you enjoy and you get some knowledge from that. Please stay tuned with the next lecture. That will be lecture number six. And in that particular lecture, uh, we will have a discussions on the question uh, that why do property change at the nanoscale? I mean, we will have a discussion in the coming lecture that why I do properties changes at the nanoscale. So stay tuned with us. Uh, see you there soon. Till then, bye bye.